Okay, now we're jumping back into the email IDF. This is going to be the email that we're going to be looking at shortly. Um, this is a more um, complex email, and as you can see, the server settings up there, we're using Office 365 in the cloud. Um, we're doing this typically as a batch process, so the reports you're seeing today typically wouldn't be run ad hoc, but we're, we did that just for the sake of the demo. And um, at this point, I think we can jump into the process. We're going to run it and then jump into how this email is constructed. So essentially, a very robust process is running in the background now that compiles multiple data sources into one email. And this is the magic here. This query variable is responsible for grabbing the data from different places and assembling a well-formatted email with multiple links that point back to each document that is being processed. At this point, we already have the email. It was that fast. So each of these, this is one email to me in this case, and um, these are the four typically monthly or weekly reports that might get run, um, and they're run as PDF. As you can see, we're using the new logo now. Um, and they're run again as an Excel file for folks that want to dig into the weeds a bit and, and look at their, the rows and cells and so forth. Um, we, we talk a lot about metadata here. We're using it not just for archiver, for the ability to search from within our system, but really importantly, we want to make our system agnostic. So we, we also stamp the metadata into the document itself so it can be searched as free text or, or as a more organized search from outside of Compleo or outside the ERP system. And that really effectively makes the document um, unique and, and permanently associated with the data you just stamped in there. 